The finished product will be in a GitHub link in the comments. Right off the bat, this tutorial is going to assume you already have a tile map set up. If you don't know how to do that, link in the iCode and description. So the first thing we're going to do is create a light. Light 2D. Um, then you're going to want to add a texture to it. I have this light texture that's also going to be in the description. If you want, you could draw your own. You're going to want to draw it white so that it works well for the light. And then the light's actually only going to change the background texture, so we need to add a background. So a sprite. And I'm going to go ahead and just have this be the go dot face. And if we were to scale them up, you'll see the light is that light right there. We now want to make sure that the light is extending from this center point. So the way we're going to do that is go over to us offset and increase it to a high enough number to where it's going to be coming from there. So I find 400 actually works well for this. And then next we're going to want to make so that there's some tile map that can exclude some light. So make sure your tile map is lower down than your sprite so you can actually see it. And I'm going to go ahead and start drawing. And you notice it doesn't automatically um, occlude the light. To do that we're going to go in here. Same as if we we're going to add a collision to it, we're going to go to occlusion. Click here, double click. Click here, double click. Now I went ahead and added occlusion and you'll notice it doesn't immediately start blocking the light. You need to go into the shadow section of your light 2D and check that. And that only does the sprites that I redrew. So as I redraw this, it'll upload it and fix that. So now this should block the light. The next thing we're going to do is add an area 2D in the light. That's going to block off. That's going to show us if the player is in the area. And we're going to want to just draw some points. Include the whole light, even the part that's blocked off. So now we should go ahead and be able to add a script to that and add body entered, connect that to the light, and body exited. We're going to use this to tell whether a player is in there. So we're going to do bar player in light, and if the if body dot name equals player player in light equals body and then if body dot name equals player player in light equals null so this will update if an object that's called player enters it'll let us know and we'll go ahead and check if it's not equal to null and we'll print Now, that's actually not going to do anything right now because we have no player in here. So let's go ahead and create a kinematic body 2D. Rename that player. And that's what it's checking for, the name of the kinematic body. So we need to add a collision to that. And because this is kind of top down, I like to do a circle for top down. And then let's also add a um, spread to that. And that's a little bit big, so let's scale that down to match the size of the circle. Grab the player, move it over that, grab that. Okay, so just center that. Walk, walk, and then we could grab the player, move him over here. Now if we run this, it's going to say player in light. Oh, let's add a camera. Okay, so this camera is going to follow the player because it's a child of the player. Go ahead and select current to make it the current. Because we very small image, I'm actually going to scale this down. 
and if you is enable smoothing that'll make it look just a little bit better when he moves around but we can't move around and we are stuck in the light according to the area even though we're not in the light right now so let's take care of those first off let's do the movement I'm going to go ahead and create a movement and a move and collide and that just takes the movement. And then we're going to do if input dot is action pressed UI up then let's go ahead and just cancel out the movement right here. That way we could just add to it, that way if you press up and down at the same time, those cancel out. So movement.y is going to be minus move speed. Is action press UI down. So that should allow us to move the character around. That way we could exit the light, it'll stop printing, enter the light, it'll continue printing. Now, let's add a raycast to see if the light is actually hitting the player. So we're going to do the raycast similar to how we did the raycast in the other tutorials. We're going to do a blur, space, date equals, get world 2D, and then direct space state. And then we're going to use that to cast the array. So if the player is in light, bar result equals space state dot intersect point no intersect ray. And that's gonna be the point from and point to. So we're gonna do position, which is the position of the ray, light. And then we're gonna do uh, player in light, which is going to be the player, if the player is in the light, dot position. So that's going to cast an array from the player to the, um, no, from the light to the player. And then we're going to cancel out self. This isn't going to do anything right here, but if you were to add an object in the light, it'll cancel out that so that the, that doesn't hit its own collider to stop the ray. So if results, oh, if result, and result dot collider dot name equals player. So that'll say if we're colliding the, to the player, print hitting player. So we'll go ahead and run that and run into an error. We got an item. Okay, so we'll run that again. Hit player. And I didn't add a collider to this. So I'll go ahead and add a collider to that. It's very similar to adding a, um, a collider. Instead of going here, you go to collider, click here, double click, click here, double click, and do that to all of them. Okay, so after adding that collider, it now works. It tells, tells whether it's hitting the player or it's not. And now we want to change the color of the light depending on if it's hitting the player or not. If it's hitting the player, we're going to have it go red. If it's not, it's going to stay the color it is. So we're going to want to change this value to red, basically. So it's going to change between red and light, white. And we want to do that in code. Just get a constant red equals color red, green, blue. So red is all the way, green's off, blue's off. Const white equals color, red, green, blue. You could do this without setting the constant. You could just do it in here if you wanted to, like color equals color, 
red, green, blue, but I like it better with a constant. So we're going to set the color to white, then if it gets all the way to here, we're going to set the color to red. That should handle it all. Now we run this, and when we step in there it turns red, when we leave it it's not red. I hope you liked this tutorial and found it informative. Um, if you need, want any more tutorials like this, just let me know and let me know the, to the topic you want to know.